Hey, Internet friend, it's Magic Brad with the Synergy Collaborative and Synergy Cafe, and I've got a friend here online, and her name is April Davis. How are you, April? I'm well, yourself? Wonderful and a half. It's sunny out today. There's blue sky here in Minneapolis, and you're from Minneapolis too, right? Yeah. Yee-hee, we're neighbors. I end up interviewing people across over in Singapore, and sometimes oh. the date changes, not just daylight savings time, but the whole day changes over there, you know? <laughs> But all right, it's been beautiful the last several days. I'll yes. take this weather. I'll, when the snow melts, then I'll be happy. Go walk around the lake and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So you're here local. Are you married, got kids, single? And what do you? what's the story? I'm married. I probably wouldn't be that good of a matchmaker if I wasn't. <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> For myself, anyway. Um, no, I'm married. No kids. Just have a fur baby. No. There you go. We got one, too. His name is Kingsley. Kingsley, I, yeah. I call him Kingsley the Wonder Dog. What's your dog's name? Jack. Jack. Jack, Jack Davis when he's in big trouble. So. Okay. <laughs> keep him. Keep Jack in check. How long have you been doing this? Uh, your your uh, this dating thing. I started the company back in 2010, and what's funny about I, the way that it came, um, my I guess the whole idea and everything came about is because my husband is on the opposite side of the business. He's a divorce attorney. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we come, we have a rotation. Yeah, we complement. So it's each possible other. to give him some referrals, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's so far it's only been the other direction. <laughs> okay, so. that's good. That's good. Keep it long, long term. But it, just in case, you could refer him some business. Yeah. Well, I guess <laughs> I have. I give. He did get one one client through me, but it was because. Um, of like ch dealing with child support kind of stuff. Yeah, so. sometimes stuff just doesn't work. But um, so it's it's interesting the whole matchmaking thing because I'm in the world of affiliate marketing and you have to kind of do that too. You have to match your ideal client with the product or service that you're selling. So right. you have to kind of do that. You can't go hooking up the the Trump supporters with the Hillary supporters, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> it really comes down to people's um, their attitudes and far as being able to be open-minded and accepting of other people's opinions. Yeah. Sometimes people like someone that is that has a different opinion than them, but then if you're too far one direction or too far another direction, it's probably not going to be a fit. You're right. or, or too concrete set in their ways kind of stuff. Yeah. I, that's the biggest deal breaker that I encounter, or one of the biggest deal breakers that I encounter with people is that if somebody is too staunch, you know, Republican or too overly religious or something like that. If they're too extreme, that's a deal breaker for a lot. So, are you a, are you a matchmaker or a dating service? So oh. it's a matchmaker. We're an okay. authentic matchmaker. Okay, cool. Yeah, I I interviewed someone else that did that on the side. Um, she's uh, she hooks up um, CEOs, yeah. male CEOs, and teaches them how to talk to women because that's yeah. that's important too. <laughs> That's the number one occupation of the clients that we work with. They're typically business owners right. and then therefore CEOs. But the, those people are the most busy and they don't have time to deal with online dating or digging around. They don't want to put their profile online either. Right. And oftentimes they're also picky. You know, they're looking for something specific. So they want to use, they'll use our service to find the kind of person they're looking for. Got it. And it's men and women. We have women clients as well. Hence the match making, right? Yeah. Okay. So you work specifically online or at home, or do you have like an office where people come in and do uh, testimonial videos or something like that? Or well, we have we have several offices across the whole country. Oh. Actually, we're, we're dispersed all over the place. So we um, will sometimes the matchmakers can work from home and do we'll do meetings virtually via Skype or FaceTime or whatnot. And then other times we meet with people. I'm flying um, tomorrow to out to California, and then on Saturday to Florida. So wow. we're all over the place. Yeah, West Coast, we East Coast. People. Yeah, exactly. We meet with people wherever. Do you They're, enjoy the travel? I do. I okay. do. <laughs> when I first started the company, I specifically chose. I mean, I looked at areas that um, had good opportunities, but I chose places that I wanted to go. <laughs> There you go. See? <laughs> and California. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on a project in Costa Rica, and I want to go down there because it's, it's tropical, and they're 90% sustainable energy-wise, and they, they don't have a military. So I'm working on a project there so I can go down there. In fact, I'm going on March 20th. I'm going down there. <laughs> well, it'll be a nice, nice break. 
yeah, it'd be fun to do maybe who knows where you're going. Maybe you do some kind of matchmaking retreat uh, educational workshop because I'm building an event center down there. Okay. <laughs> so before I ask my favorite question, that's the big W is why. Mm -hmm. But how, do, how does anybody get a hold of you? Do you have like a, you know, 10 top tips for dating or some kind of freebie thing they can get or just go to your website and connect with you? How do we, how do, we do that website? Well, we we do a lot of videos. I do a lot of video blogs and you know, that's on all of our social media. Of course, it's Luma matchmaking, L U M A matchmaking, Luma search.com is our website. And, you know, so if anyone visits, um, visits our site, they'll be able to see we have tons of video blogs. And, um, also, I mean, I always, there's so many dating tips out there. I mean, I can literally name off a you know, hundred right now, but we narrow it down every time we send out an, uh, date confirmation email because we we plan the dates when we're setting up people so we'll not only select who we're going to put them with but we'll take care of all the details and everything and we plan oh date. almost like an event planner uh well we do have one lady on our team that, that's all she does okay. <laughs> is plan, is planning. that's my background is the events industry so oh, okay nice. well here's my yeah. favorite question and then uh what i'll do is i'll beam this up to the internet but if you want to stay on we can chat even further but uh the big why question, why are you doing this? Why haven't you taken on like a modeling career or create a cosmetic line or be a ski instructor? Why did you pick this, matchmaking? This is when they say, if you do something you love, you never work a day in your life. Right. You know, this is something that I've always been passionate about and interested in. And so it became, it was natural for me. You know, I heard all these stories from some of my friends about how terrible it was and how hard it was to meet someone out there. Mm -hmm. And um, and of course, you know, all the horror stories from online dating. So I did some research and was looking at um, some of the other services that were out there and the pros and cons and read the reviews from people. And my background is in process improvement. And I thought, you know, I could, I could do this better than that. And that's how we came up with our model. We're, we're more of an extension of our clients. And I always say we're your wing woman slash biggest cheerleader. So we want to help our clients. So it's not cool. just putting people in front of each other. But also giving them the feedback and working with them. We're all we're all certified life coaches, so that can help people to put their best foot foot forward. That's so good. Really, we really care and really try to make it successful. Yeah, my wife is a life coach, so I, I get it. And it, uh, I, I work with a coach. It's kind of nice to have somebody to bounce things back because you're you 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 can't see through the forest, you know. So you got to have someone to kind of relay it back to you. And, you know, if I was, we're kind of like your sister and we're going to be honest with you and tell you like, Hey, maybe you should try doing something differently. And is, is that what you do? Like they go out on their first date and you kind of give them a review and say, you know, you probably shouldn't have been picking your nose during dinner. <laughs> well, yeah, that's never beneficial. <laughs> but even before the first date, we're working with them too. Cause we can meet with them and we can, you, I mean, anyone you meet, you probably run into and you're like, God, if they just change that one little thing that right. would make them so much more attractive or whatever and we've taken clients shopping to help them figure out a different wardrobe okay cool good photos you know because you have to manage your brand online too everybody's the first thing people do after a date is google the other person so we want to make sure that they are looking good online and it's just working on different things whether it's etiquette or conversation skills or putting them in a situation where uh, and when we plan the date making sure they're in a situation where they're going to be successful you know, our clients that are a bit more reserved and shy, I probably shouldn't be going on a date where they're sitting across the table from the other person and feeling like they're having an interview. It's better, they'd be better off maybe just going for a walk or bowling or doing or, some or kind go of see fun. a play or something. It's not. Well, not a play because you wouldn't be able to talk, right? Because you're just sitting there in the quiet. See, you know your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what we do. Yeah, I like that you even taken the concept of social media because. Early on, I used to go to these dating matchmaking clubs and all that kind of stuff before I got married back when I was in my like 20s and 30s, and there was no oh, internet back then. A couple of years ago? Yeah, right. I'm 60. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, it's good to have nowadays to be able to look at your social media because, you know, you look really nice on here, and then they go and they, because they're going to Google you and find out what you're really all about. And you find out you're drunk doing tequila shots or something. And I don't know if I want to go out with this person. <laughs> or if you're a troll online and you're yeah. making a lot of negative, rude comments to other people. 
So Got why it. not? <laughs> well, this is wonderful. I like I, you. Really seem to know your stuff. You must have done this like when you go to parties and go. That person would really connect with that person. And oh, you wanna... I'm always connecting people, whether it's romantically or just friends and you know business acquaintances. I'm because con- I meet so many people. I'm like, oh, okay, you should meet so and so. I think there could be some synergies. I just met a lady yesterday yeah. that she was. She started a new um, new hedge fund type company. And I had met a couple of weeks ago another guy that was responsible for some angel investing type um, initiatives. And I'm like, yeah, you two should oh, probably meet. Okay. And so I did an in a, did a email introduction. And you know, it's not romantic, but there's always sure. that's the easiest thing that you can do for someone to change their life is just sure. making an introduction. Yeah. I just think it's such an easy way, but it opens up doors. You know, you think about how did we end up here? You know, there's some reason why everything happens and if you think back okay what did I do or who did I meet or what did I see in order for this to all happen for two paths to connect Got it. now it's usually there's somebody involved in the middle well I'm looking for investors in my Costa Rica project so if you know of anybody that's got any money and wants to play in Costa Rica send them my way <laughs> oh, <laughs> no investing, so. <laughs> well I'm gonna beam this up to the internet and propagate it out to the social platforms on the world um, I appreciate you taking the time April and if you want to do another one of these down the road that's a possibility too other than that how else do we get a hold of you again the website is luma l-u-m-a search.com luma search luma search.com okay All right. thank Bye. you very much peace All right. take care bye